when I was growing up, there were a lot of Hawaiian families living in Waikiki, and now they, prior to when the, the, the canal was created, there was a lot of water throughout Waikiki. There were a lot of loi there and everything, and so they had to drain it in order to create Waikiki. And I'm sure that when they did that, they, they knew they would be creating prime land because it was all along the beach. They talked a lot of the families in Waikiki into moving. Had they stayed in Waikiki, it would have been much different. And I remember walking along, we had to walk along the Alawai Canal to get to elementary school. But the Alawai was also something that you, it was okay if you fell in. As the years went on, we actually started to say, oh, I don't know if I'd eat a crab or a fish out of the Alawai because I think it's getting polluted. And that was like, what, 60 years ago? I never dreamed that it would look like the way it is now. When the big hotel started going up, it was anomaly, but now when you look, you'd never, I never would have thought it would be such a concrete jungle like it is today. I think that the Army Corps of Engineers is terrible at public information. I don't think they do nearly enough, and maybe it's because they don't want everybody to know everything. I'm not sure. I mean, it's a no-brainer. If you want people to support you, you give them as much information as possible, but for some reason, they don't. It's really easy to create myths to make it, whenever, especially if you're against something, to make something bigger than it really is. Although, they all should realize climate change is coming, and we do have to do something proactively. I, I get concerned that when climate change is really upon us, or even when storms are upon us, or tidal waves, that the Alawai will overflow and flood everything. They don't feel like our, our parents did. Our parents really didn't feel empowered to, to make changes, whereas the new generation does feel empowered, and I'm really happy about that. So what, I, what would I like to have different? I, I kind of like the idea of not having all those hotels. It's sad that they would be, somebody's gonna lose a lot of money, but it would be great to have all those hotels gone and have Hawaii back to the way it used to be. Not so many people, there's so many people now. Just not enough room for all these people.